Hello everybody, welcome back to Hardwired Review, and yes, I am back to my normal setup, I am back from vacation, and you know, reality hits hard. But that aside, today I wanted to give you guys a quick little video showing you how to swap cases out of one PC and put them into another. And uh, it turns out it's a heck of a lot easier than you guys probably think it is. PC building in and of itself has the misconception that it's like super hard when, you know, b babies could, could pretty much do it, which really lowers my self-esteem. So yeah, we are gonna be transferring all of the parts out of this PC case right here. I believe this is, I'm not sure of the exact name. It's like a Cooler Master case. I got it around a year ago. It's fine, but I'm actually going to be transferring everything into this Antec P120 crystal case, which Antec has graciously sent over. And since computer building is so easy, transferring all these parts is going to be easy as well. And it really only comes down to a few main steps that you have to take. At the end of the day, it really just comes down to detaching cables, taking out all of your drives or SSDs. Then once you have everything all disconnected, take out your power supply and then install that into your second case. Next, you're gonna detach the GPU, take out the motherboard with the RAM and CPU still installed. If you want to, you can disconnect your CPU cooler, but this is an optional step that won't apply to everybody because certain people with liquid coolers definitely have to remove theirs, while others with stock coolers from like AMD or Intel, they can probably keep theirs on. It's really up to you. And then after all that is done, you're also gonna to wanna to transfer any fans that you have in your case that you're also gonna to wanna to have in your second case, as well as like RGB accessories. So yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty simple. Why why are you guys why are you guys sweating sweating over this? It's okay guys, I got your back. And you know what? Let's just begin. We're just going to remove the front panel. Really just depends on what type of PC case you have. You're gonna to wanna to remove that so you have access to all of your PC parts. Now, a little disclaimer, I'm not gonna be going in depth into everything in this video on you know, how to remove all of the components because if you wanna know that, it's pretty much like building a PC backwards. So you can just look up a video on how to build a PC and then apply that knowledge to this. And I'm guessing that you've already built your PC if you're watching this video, unless you have a pre-built, which so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the cable from my motherboard. Then I'm gonna go over to the drives and remove those cables. And I'm also gonna remove the drives. Now at this point, after you've gotten all of the cables out of the motherboard, you may actually have to detach a cable from your GPU. However, mine doesn't have one. So just keep that in mind. Now actually, I'm gonna actually um, break one of my rules. Before I actually take out the drives, I am going to detach the GPU. Not all of these steps have to be done exactly in order. However, just use common sense when you're doing this because if you do do some of these steps out of order, it could uh, cause some pretty serious problems. Now I'm just going to unscrew the bracket here. Take that out. And with that out, you may have to uh, click a little pin to actually release your graphics card. But yeah, here it is. All right, with the GPU out, I'm actually just going to tip this up right here. And um, just so you guys can kind of uh, see it actually, let me tip it in like this. I'm going to remove the back panel and take off all of the drives. All right, so we've got it like this. On this side, we're just going to detach all of the SATA cables and power connectors right here. It do take a little effort to get out, so if you do have to pull a little hard, don't worry about that. You aren't gonna really break anything. The cables are just meant to be a little hard so they don't pop out when you're like playing a game or something. And then you can't finish your game, and then you get banned. All right, so the way I have it, my case is designed, these just pop right out. Your case might vary. You might have to unscrew some more things, but really you just want to detach all of your drives some way or another. You don't want anything to happen to these. You don't want them to get damaged because quite possibly they hold your OS and they also hold all your games and uh, anything else that you might have on your computer. 
So for this build, I am not going to go through and actually take out all of my cables and transfer my PSU because I do have one in this case right here. However, if you don't have a second PSU that you're putting into your second case, at this point, you're going to want to take out all of your cables and then set aside your PSU as well as the cables. Alrighty, so with the drives out, I'm actually just going to set these screws from the back plate right over here so they're not in the way. We're just going to flip around and actually, yeah, I'm going to set the bracket over here as well. Don't want to forget that. We're just going to flip this around this way just so you guys can see it. And we are going to take out the motherboard right here. And actually, right, I did get everything detached. Good. And yeah, since I do have a stock CPU cooler, I'm not actually going to take it off when I transfer this into the other case. However, if you feel more comfortable taking off, you know, your big bulky cooler, or if you have an AIO, then I would definitely recommend taking that off first before you transfer your motherboard into your new case. And yeah, we're just going to take our little screwdriver right here and start undoing the screws at all of the motherboard standoffs on this case. The size of your motherboard as well as your PC case might determine where your standoffs are. So just look around and find the areas where there are little screws in your motherboard that attach to your case and then undo them. Gosh, some of the parts are a little bit harder than others. And just like that, once you have everything removed, your motherboard just pops out like that. Dang, boy, looking fine. <laughs> Aside from all the uh, dust because I neglected it for so long. <laughs> oh yeah, and I forgot to say this, you can also leave your RAM in because uh, that's not really gonna go anywhere unless you bought new RAM for your new case because, you know, RGB RAM obviously increases performance. So yeah, since there's really nothing in this case that I'm going to be reusing for my next build, um, I am just going to prop this up like this and set this aside. All right, now that we have everything out of our old case, all of our parts are someplace safe, we can actually get to putting in all of our parts from the old case and put them into our new case. This is pretty much just like building a PC. So I'm not really actually gonna go over it much in this video because I wanna really keep down the time. I don't wanna waste your time at all. There's plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to, you know, build a PC. But I just wanted to give my take on how to transfer. So there will be a little bit of a time lapse of me putting all the parts from my old case into this one. However, I'm not going to be really going over all the steps because it's honestly not necessary. All right, guys, that's it for this hardwired review video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope it helped you know, get the steps down for what you need to do to actually take the parts out of your old PC and transfer them into a new PC. As I said, it's a whole heck of a lot easier than you think it is. The whole process only really took me around 20 minutes. Peace out and enjoy this little montage of me putting all the old parts into this behemoth of a case. It's going to look pretty funny because I have a pretty tiny motherboard. It's all done. Looks pretty good. I'll have a review for this case coming out very soon. And, uh, <laughs> dude, the, the motherboard looks so freaking small in this case, dude. Oh my gosh. And don't worry, I've got some upgrades to this coming soon. It's not gonna look like a... I don't even know what this looks like right now. A huge guy with a small face, I guess you could say.